Welcome everyone. Open Robotics created Open RMF, which has a set of libraries to manage multiple robots. In this session, we'll go through Traffic Editor. It's a UI tool to create a floor plan, which is understandable by the RMF framework. So uh, before that, we have to um, install um, RMF. So I have followed these steps building from the sources to install in my local system. So once it is installed, uh, once we build everything, we'll go to the particular workspace and enter traffic editor. It will open the UI tool. We'll go through the functions available in this tool. First, we need to create a file to save the changes. We'll go to new and we'll create a name workspace and save it. So here I'm selecting the image coordinates. Okay. Here we have option to create a multiple levels like first floor, second floor. So we can create a multiple levels. Uh, so first I'm adding a level one. The dimension I'm giving it 10 meters and 10 meters. So it gives the space. Then I'm going to um, layer and I'm adding one more layer. I'm adding a image, which I have a floor plan. I'm adding it here. So we'll adjust the numbers to fit into this space. So we'll change the meters per pixel. So the floor plan fit into this space. So next option, um, this option is to select and this option is to move and this is for rotation. And this is a vertex. So vertex will be used in multiple uh, places. So we'll go through one by one. Uh, so first I'm adding a wall. So I'm creating a wall here. Um, so I'm continuously clicking each corner so it created a wall around this room so here we have a four key points so it's nothing but a vertex so then um, next option is for um, measurements so I'm creating a measurement for this space so I'm selecting the two points Then I'm updating distance in meters, like I'm adding 10 meters. Here we'll add one more wall in the middle. And I want to change the texture of that uh, wall. So by default, it is showing default one. So we can go to the um, texture options so here we'll ha we are having a link for our texture options so this is the wall I'm going to add white brick just changing to white bricks Next one will add in your floor. Next one will add a floor. Uh, before that, uh, we need to add a vertex, the points which you are, you are going to connect to create a floor.
and I, you have to select this polygon add floor polygon so we'll connect the vertex So we have created a floor plan here. Next one is we'll add a door. I want to add one more vertex here. When I'm selecting the door, I have to connect these two vertex so it creates a door option. Here they have a multiple options like single door or a double door or a sliding window, sorry, sliding door something. Here we can change the rotation degrees like um, 180s, like it is the door opening at 180 degree. Axis, uh, if it is ended, it will be in oppo opposite direction. So they have multiple options for doors. next they have the traffic lane which uh, robots move on this lane um, for that uh, we need to add a vertex that is first so for example I am adding some other vertex here Then I'm clicking add lane. So we have to select this vertex to connect the to create the lane. So by default it is bi-directional so if we want to uh, make it as uh, one one way we can change the option also if it is uh, bi-directional by default it is true we need to change it as false so it will be in one direction only So I change some of the lanes to be in one direction. We'll see the vertex now. So here we have a multiple key points. The key points are called vertex. And so for this particular vertex, I want to add uh, some description. And it has a set of description for that. Like is it, is it a parking spot or is it a charger or um, drop off for this uh, delivery task? and is a pass through point like that so in this case I am selecting is charger so I am making it as true so we can see the charger symbol so 
this is the charging location so when uh, robots can come here and they can go to this uh, point for the charging and for this lane uh, for the charging I want uh, robot goes in uh, backward direction so I'm mentioning as backward here so in this case uh, robots will be uh, turn and it will go in the reverse direction to for the charging point and it has some option to add some properties like tables and cubicles like that so we can go to add model and we have a list of models available here we can select any model and we can add it so in this case I'm selecting this so far and add it here so I'm rotating it so far here and I'm moving okay and we can save it we'll see the sample file how it is we look so this is the file we have created for workspace like here we have uh, floors like these are the verticals vertices belongs to floors and these are lanes so this lane is for um, this will have an orientation backward and these are the vertices these are the vertices for walls like that Next, we will create a gazebo world from this um, floor plan. So we will go to Aurum of Workspace. Source setup from bash. Then I am going to a folder where uh, I am storing that. Uh, this traffic editor file so I'm executing this arm of build map tools and map generator for a gazebo and I'm giving this uh, workspace uh, the building YAML file which is to be created now and this is the world file and this is the path where it, it will store okay so this is created we'll see this workspace l1 and the workspace world this is the building file next we need to copy this model folder into the gazebo model this models folder so we will use um, this command so I'm going to this particular this folder I'm executing this command so uh, so this folder will be copied into the gazebo models folder so I have executed and the file has been copied already so this is the folder we copied then um, I'm going to execute this um, world file let's see go workspace dot world so it created a simulation for the This is a wall texture we added and this is so for the models. 